Hi everyone, good morning. It's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. Thanks so much for being here this morning. I hope it's a bright sunny day for you and uh, you're enjoying your, your life. Um, I'm here to share with you some uh, information that I think is of interest to women over 60 and uh, welcome you to the show. If you've actually uh, just joined us, uh, please check out our website, 60andme.com forward slash start. And uh, that will just tell you where we are, all our different channels, but uh, lots to talk about. And I always start these mornings with my cup of tea and today I'm having just a very simple English breakfast. I love English breakfast. I think I've told you I was born in England and it's for me my when everything is well with the world and everything's upset with the world it's my tea. <laughs> and so I don't know quite where I am today but the topic I'm going to talk about kind of fits into that so kind of getting in the mood. But anyway, I'd also like to thank our sponsor for today's show. That's Puritan's Pride. Uh, we take an interest in well-being and health here at 60 and Me. We always have. It's a very important topic for us. And you can visit the Puritan's Pride website to find out how the right nutrition can help you get the mo most out of life. So thanks to Puritan's Pride. Now, the topic today is written by, based on an article written by Marcia Smalley. Now, Marcia has been writing for 60 and Me now for some time, and she's a very, very good writer and um, just writes about topics that touch the heart. And this one was, um, the title of it is, Five Ways to Reclaim Joy During Difficult Times. And I think it's a really interesting topic because... Um, you know, there's been times, I think, in all of our lives where joy <laughs> has been in short supply and uh, times where we felt, you know, complete exhilaration and, and happiness. And as part of the beauty, I think, of being older is that we have kind of gone through all these different stages and we, you know, we know the depth of one in order to experience the pleasure of the other. I think that's really super important. You know, maybe we've accomplished a lot in our professions. You know, we've cultivated friendships and relationships that have been, you know, lasted our lifetime. We've had children, maybe, the, the, you know, children that have, you know, given us great joy in our life and, and, and now perhaps your grandmother and experiencing that beautiful joy. But, you know, we can't be happy all the time, right? I mean, it's just the way it is. Life is just like that. We stop for a moment and question something or we have an event that happens in our life that totally moves us in another direction. You know, there's some pretty strange and incredibly sad things that can happen in the world and joy just goes missing, you know. So how do we find it and, and bring it back and, 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 into, and bring it back into our lives, you know, when things are not going perfect and that's, you know, kind of the reality of our world. And as uh, you know, Marcia says, we can reclaim this joy slowly, piece by piece, one day at a time. And that's really all we can do. Mm, got this thing in my mouth there. So, um, do you know, it, it is such a hot day today. People have asked me this question uh, about my room because I, I live in a small room, a studio, and uh, I am on the fifth floor. And I don't know what it is. I get the heat here. I mean, I, the, outside it can be fairly cool, but inside I'm just using my little brush to, to get the glow off. Um, and it's just warm. So excuse me for keeping, keeping myself warm here, but it is hot. Anywho, back, back with you. And that's one of my, um, what is it, joy? <laughs> Who can not like the sun? But anyway, so you, I think the thing about it is when you're going through a tough time, to look for the moments, look for the opportunities where you can bring that joy back into your life one time, at a, one piece, one day, one minute at a time. And the thing that, first thing that Marcia says, which, which I think is super powerful, is surround yourself with people who make you jump for joy. You know, surround yourself with people that are positive and are going to make you feel, uh, you know, useful and, uh, and relevant and, and important. And people that brighten the room, you know, people when they come into the room, they, they, they're full of spirit, of good spirits and, and, good of, and good heart. And they try their best to just always keep, uh, you know, a positive attitude. That exchange of energy can be so powerful. Hugs are super important here. You know, be with people that hug you to the level that you like to be hugged. <laughs> Some people like one hug a day and I like 10. But, you know, it's just, it's just really surround yourself with people that are like-minded and who just are good people that make you jump for joy, that will bring joy to your life. The next thing is to realize, and I think that Marcia does this very well, that is that, you know, the, half, the glass really is half full or full. 
It's, it's all, it's, it's just that nothing's perfect all the time. And, and the more that we can take those situations where there's a little darkness in our lives and add a positivity to it is, is a good one. Every um, negative situation, uh, according to her, and I think it's true, has a kernel of optimism and hope. Even in the darkest moments, we can, you know, we can come out of it with, a, with some positivity and let that peacefulness come to the surface. Sometimes meditation will help, you know, being able to focus on your breath and not let your mo monkey mind wander around with all the detail of what might be on your mind. So, you know, so take some time to let the peace and the, and the harmony come through and then just go with that and then jo joy will follow. I was listening to a, a, a tape or a documentary the other day about um, about stress and anxiety in our world, and it, in this, uh, the speaker was say, saying something, and I wasn't aware of this, but there's a word in German that talks about just a, an overall pain with the world, and I think a lot of people are dealing with this right now. There's just a world pain. There's so much going on in different countries around the world, different struggles, different you know imbalance in uh, poverty and, and wealth and you can list all the things that, are, that might be causing you some anxiety and pain and a lack of joy. But it's something about, you know, doing some of these techniques that Marcia mentions to actually bring yourself out of it and keep, and keep happy. The next thing is to get some fresh air. Go outside. <laughs> and Mother Nature is the greatest healer and also in a way shows you the cycles of life in a very sometimes harsh way, you know, that, that it's, a, it's not all roses. I mean, it's a, a way of the, how nature deals with uh, the weather with stress, with um, its own form of anxiety, but how it always bounces back. And get out, in, getting out into the fresh air, and it's, it's just healing. No, per nature is the perfect teacher, and it has a wisdom about it. Uh, not just not just nature, but animals in nature and and plants. The whole thing is just so, I think, tuned to our, us as human beings. I think we are part of it, and um, being outside in nature is super super helpful. Another thing that Marcia mentions, which we've talked about many times, and that is to take care of yourself. I know it's hard when you're going through a time which is very stressful to think about good diet and <laughs> taking care of your, of your body, but it's super, super important that you do that and that you don't um, give in to those, um, tech, those habits or those strategies that you maybe worked for you before um, or that you think might work for you. Uh, always find the source of the, of the pain, whatever is causing you the, child, the, the unhappiness, and then uh, you know, ad adapt. But, but try to take care of yourself physically and uh, with your food and, and emotionally. And also get sleep. You know, get the extra 15 minutes of sleep. And, that, and just remember, all this is going to pass. It really is. It's going to pass. The, the hard times will pass. And this sleep, you know, really helps you to combat stress and anxiety. So just, um, you know, remember that sleep is, is very important as if you're in a stressful or a more depressed uh, situation. And of course, I don't even need to say this, but if you are feeling very, very low, go get some help. You know, a tough times uh, when there's no joy and it's like a, a desert of, uh, you know, a, of toughness and harsh reality. Go get some help, get some support. Don't need to even say that because I know you all know this. Anyway, just don't give up on being joyful is Marsha's uh, advice for us. Don't give up. Just know that it's going to be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, it's not the end yet. That's, I think, from Best Hotel, Exotic Marigold Hotel. Great quote. But, you know, a good place to start is by reclaiming joy in your life. Take some of those steps that, that Marsha mentions and uh, slowly build um, a, a one moment of joy a day and then 10 and then 100 and just bring it back in your life. So ways to reclaim joy is important. All right. So I, I hope this has been useful. I didn't mean to bring, bring it to a level of, um, you know, kind of a, a sad discussion, but it is. Life is not always happy. <laughs> Sorry. And I think that it's important that we give ourselves the benefit of um, healing. And so what do you do? What do you how do you reclaim joy when life gets a bit troubling? I'd love to know. Just leave your comments in the section below. What do you do to reclaim joy in your life when it gets a little tough? Trust me, I have them too. We all have them. So take very, very good care of yourselves, everybody. Have a wonderful day. And then let us know how you bring joy into your life. In fact, go out and bring some joy in your life today. Take good care, everybody. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.